right, so in this video, we're going to demonstrate how you can use Stencil Bridge, uh, what it's used for in, uh, in your projects. Basically, Stencil Bridge is found right here. And when you, when you click on it, you are given the option to choose the bridge size. Now, of course, you know, uh, you can see how wide that thing is. What it's going to do here for us, it's going to create us a stencil effect for the lettering. And this stencil effect will then, of course, give us uh, the ability to utilize the D's and the R's uh, when we're cutting out these letters. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this because I think that once you see it, you're going to get an idea of what it looks like. Very much so does it look like, uh, you know, if you're stenciling letters for maybe a gym bag, maybe the military stencil lettering, and this is what it will remind you of. So with Stencil Bridge selected, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and choose this right here. And when you're coming over to the letter, I always click, uh, you know, in the white area and see if I got it correct. And then I hold the shift button down as well just so that I can draw a nice straight line and when I do I let go and now we have the stencil effect right here which is on the letter D like I said this works really well for those letters that are just you know kind of kind of hard to cut out and, and piece together so that way when you do cut this you know, the, the middle of the R will still be there for you. So that is the, the stencil bridge uh, effect. You, you want to use those on letters like D's, P's, R's, uh, any letter that does have, uh, you know, that's fully closed off, that when you do cut it out on a piece of paper, uh, basically that entire shape would fall out. So that's what the stencil bridge will do for you uh, and, and your projects.